Hi, my name is Sam and I'm one of the owners at The Raven's Wood. I put together a series of these videos to help you with your wedding planning. This is for book brides of The Raven's Wood, but actually anyone can watch these videos and can get good useful information on how to plan a wedding. Everybody is expecting you to put on a major event, but you know what? Maybe you've never put an event on before in your life. So we're here to help you and guide you through all the steps that you need in order to have a beautiful wedding and the best day of your lives. <laughs> I really gotta work on my smile. Congratulations, you booked your wedding. You may be wondering what it is that you need to do next. Nope, congratulations, you booked your venue. La, 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 la. Congratulations, you booked your wedding. Congratulations, you booked your wedding venue. You may be wondering what it is that you need to do next. So we're gonna go through a few of the points now. The first thing that I would do is I would contact the local registrars or your local church or the church closest to the venue and find out what times they have available. We recommend the best time to get married at the Ravenswood is 2 p.m. So as close to that as possible would be ideal. Once you've booked that in and the confirmation is done, send it over to us so we can put that in your file. The next thing you want to do for most people is to go dress shopping or find your tailor. So obviously there's many places you can find dresses and what we recommend is to find a number of shops where you can go for fittings and go and try on as many different dresses as you can. Sometimes your perfect dress is the one you least expect it to be. Once you've started looking into dresses, I would also start looking into suppliers that can only do one thing on a wedding day. For example, the photographer, the videographer, maybe a band, and any other suppliers like a caricature, if that's what you wanted, or a magician that would only be able to attend one wedding at a time. These are the people you want to get booked in first. The next thing that you can do after that is start looking into decoration. This is where we really say, have a think about what kind of person you are. Are you the type of person that's gonna be able to go through Pinterest, find amazing DIY projects, and put them together with the support of your family and friends? Or would you prefer to go and see someone that's an expert in this industry that has many different ideas that they can show you so you can help piece together the perfect decoration for your wedding? There isn't a wrong or a right way to do this. It really comes down to budget and also what you would like to do in terms of creating the decoration and doing DIY projects. This is also a great time to think about your color theme and also any themes that you would like to have for the table names. The next thing you get to do is you get to go to wedding fairs and check out local suppliers and find your cake maker and your florist and any other things that you want to have at your wedding. For example, photo booths, um, you know, maybe a string quartet as you walk down the aisle, and a harpist to play or, you know, anything. It, there's so many different options you can have at weddings and it is quite fun to go and have a look around and see what people are offering. Don't get too carried away though. You don't have to have all of these things at your wedding. It really is down to taste and budget and what you would like to have. One thing we do recommend is that if you are having a lot of children at your wedding, that maybe you hire a child's entertainer or we have wedding nannies that we can recommend that come and do drawing and create things with the children so that they don't get bored. I've got a, nope. La, 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 la. There are so many amazing suppliers out there that can offer you so many different things that you can have at your wedding. Really, it's just a ch chance to have fun and have a look around and see what's available. I've put together a little timeline which you can download and have a look through and that kind of covers the basics of when you should be looking to book in certain things. Don't forget that most companies require a deposit and most companies require the balance before the wedding. So make sure that you factor that in with your budgeting. And most importantly, just have a lot of fun.